So how do we factor a five term polynomial by grouping? Well, by grouping, right? So maybe let's go ahead and try group them the first three terms and then the last two terms. And then right here for the first three terms, let's go ahead and just factor out x to the second power. That is doable. And then we will have x squared minus 4x and then plus 2. Right, just divide everybody by x squared. And then for this right here, we have a minus here. So write that down right away. 11 and 12, there's no common factor besides 1. So it's like factoring out 1. And then we will have this divided by negative 1 plus the 11x. This divided by negative 1 is minus 12. Can we continue though? Well, this is a quadratic trinomial, but unfortunately, this is not factorable. You can try it, but x times x, and then this is like 1 and 2, or negative 1 and 2. There's no way to get negative 4x. Mm, so what do we do? Does this mean that this is not factorable? No. Grouping. Maybe we can just try a different group, right? So let's try if we group the first two terms and then the last three terms. Here we go. For the first two terms now, we can factor out x to the third power, and then we will have just x minus 4. And then for the last three terms, here we have a plus. Go ahead and just write that down right away. And this is a quadratic trinomial, and it's actually factorable. So let's do it on the side. 2x squared minus 11x plus 12. Let's do it by the tic-tac-toe method. So I'll draw the tic-tac-toe boxes like this. To get 2x squared, we need 2x and x. And then to get plus d12, and right here is a negative 11, we can try negative 2, negative 6, negative 1, negative 12, etc. But I'll tell you the correct combination. We will use negative 3 and negative 4. And negative 3 will go here, negative 4 will go here. You can try it with different methods. In fact, I have a video I'm showing you guys five different methods of factoring a quadratic trinomial like this. So you can check that out. Right here, this is the correct combination because 2x times negative 4 is negative 8, x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. So this and that is negative 11x. That means we know it's correct. And the factoring for this is 2x minus 3. You read it across, right? So 2x minus 3. And then x minus 4. This is excellent because we see that we have the x minus 4 in common. So we can factor that out. This will give us x minus 4 in the front. And then we will have this right here left, so x to the third power, plus this term, which is 2x minus 3. Now, are we done? No, because this right here is actually factorable because notice if I just plug in 1 into x, 1 to the third power is 1, plus 2 times 1, which is 1 plus 2, which is 3. 3 minus 3 is 0. So 1 is a 0 for this. That means x minus 1 is a factor. And I will show you guys this way because I will still like to show you guys factor by grouping. For this one in particular, I'm going to break down the negative 3. So have a look on the side here. x to the third power plus 2x minus 3, but I'm going to break down the minus 3. How though? Earlier we said 1 is a factor, 1 is a root, right? So I'm just going to write it as x to the third power minus 1 and then write down a plus 2x. And then I need to get minus 3. This is minus 1 already. I need minus 2. Why, why this though? Because again, factor by grouping. Have a look. Now, the first two terms, this is a difference of two cubes. We get x minus 1 times x squared plus x plus 1. And then for the last two terms, we can factor out 2. And that's a plus d2, so plus 2. And then we get x minus 1. Have a look. x minus 1, x minus 1 in common. So we can factor that out. And then we will have this right here, x squared plus x plus 1, and then plus 2. So of course, this right here is plus 3, right? So I am just going to come back here and write this down for you guys. We have x minus 4 here, and then this 
is just all that. We have x minus 1 times x squared plus x. And again, combine the 1 and 2 together, we get plus 3. So this right here is how we can factor a five-term polynomial by grouping.